Loops Graphics presents Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights 2012. Game two, Dayton travels to Livingston to take on the Lions. Dayton Friday Night Lights is produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics, always believe. On a hot, steamy Friday night in Livingston, Texas, Coronco kicks off for the Broncos. The ball sells in the end zone, resulting in a touchback. Right off the bat, Livingston faces a fourth and one in their own territory. They go for it, and the run converts the first down. Livingston gets another first down and moves into the Bronco territory, but on fourth down, they go for it again, and the pass falls incomplete. Three plays later, Mark Hane Chambers takes the snap, steps back, throws it down the field, and connects with Isaiah Chambers for the third time this season. The Broncos go up 6-0. to zero. The extra point sells through the uprights, making the score 7-0. to zero. Broncos. The Bronco defense then stiffens. The Lions try to run to the left. Then they try to run to the right. Facing third and long, the quarterback goes back for a pass and it's incomplete, setting up a punt. The Livingston punter is back in position. He takes the snap off a bounce and booms the ball down the field. Jacarius Keener catches it on a bounce, races to his left and turns the corner. The Broncos put up 13 points and a snap. The extra point sells through the uprights again, making the score 14 to 0. Broncos. The next Livingston line offensive possession is a disaster. On first down, the run is stopped up on the right side. On second down, a fumble recovered by the quarterback. Third and long, the quarterback takes a snap, or does he? It's fumbled again, setting up fourth and long. That was the last play of the first quarter. To open the second quarter, the Lions put the ball, but the snap is bubbled. The putter runs up, but is stampeded by the Dayton Broncos. The second quarter continues with both teams trading putts twice. The Lions get the ball back, and on first down, a fumble. The Broncos recover in Lions territory. The Broncos move the ball inside the Lions 20. Marquane takes the snap, hands off to St. Andre, who turns to his left and races to the sideline and crosses the goal line. The Broncos go up 20 to zero on the lines. Caraco comes in for the extra point. The ball's up, it barely crosses, but it's good. The Broncos go up on the lines 21 to zero. The Broncos get the ball to open the third quarter. They get a couple of first downs or are moving down the field when the ball is tipped and intercepted by the Lions. The Lions have the dawning task of moving the ball on the Broncos, but a reverse clears the way. Number 15 takes it around the corner and crosses the goal line. The Livingston Lions female PA announcer goes into an estrogenical hysteria as the Lions make the score 21 to seven. On the next Bronco offensive possession, Jacarius Keener comes in to quarterback. On third and long, he takes off, runs around, whoop, he whoop, and he goes to the middle and crosses the goal line. But a block in the back brings the play back. With the touchdown taken off the scoreboard, Jacarius Keener goes back, tries to throw into the end zone, but a leaping interception by number 15. He races up the middle. Whoop! He cuts back to his left and 
goes into the clearing. He could go all the way while the female announcer goes into hysteria. The extra point is missed to the right. The score is now Broncos 21, Lions 13. The Livingston line defense holds the Broncos and makes them punt. The Lions get the ball back and on third down, the ball stripped and the Broncos recover in excellent field position. The Broncos are unable to get a first down, setting up a 40 yard plus field goal, but it misses to the right. The Livingston Lions hold off the Broncos. The Lions get the ball back, and on second down, the quarterback goes, throws it down the middle, but a leaping interception by Jacarius Keeter turns the ball over to the Broncos. The Broncos are forced to punt after the turnover. The Lions can't get a first down and punt the ball back. Jacarius Keeter can't handle the ball, but he picks it up, races to his right, and turns the corner. This Bronco touchdown sponsored by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics, always believe. Broncos extra point splits the uprights, making the score. Broncos 28, Lions 13. Both teams trade punts and the game comes to an end with an incomplete pass and a bone crushing hit by the Broncos. The clock counts down towards zero, silencing the female announcer for the Livingston Lions. The Broncos go up 2-0 on the young 2012 season. Dayton Bronco, Friday Night Lights 2012, sponsored by Tube Scrappers. Hoops Graphics, always believe.